okay so now in this video we will allow the player to change uh, different cars and select any car the player wants okay so for that in the game folder we need to open up scripts and in the scripts let's click on ui and in here we need to create a new c sharp file by the name of car selection okay let's click on player cars and drag and drop the script uh, right onto it and then let's open this up now what we're gonna do right here is I'm gonna remove that too and first of all we will create a public reference to the container object holding all available cars okay but this I means the player cars game object okay so I'm gonna say public game object all cars container or you can name this player cars if you want then after this i'm going to create a private array to store references to all individual car objects okay so private game object make it an array and then let's name this as all cars then after this i'm going to create a private variable to keep track of the currently selected car index okay so private integer let's name this as current index by default it will be zero then after this let's create the start method and in the start method method first of all we're gonna initialize the all cars array with the child count of the all cars container okay so all cars equals to new game object all cars container dot transform dot child count okay after this we're gonna loop through each child of the all car containers so I'm gonna say for create an integer i which will be equals to zero then i if that is less than the all car container dot transform dot child count then we're gonna say i plus plus and in here first of all we will store references to individual cars in the all car array okay so all car i equals to all cars container dot transform dot get child dot game object okay now let's set all cars to be initially inactive okay so all cars dot actually all cars i and then dot set active and let's set them to false okay now after this we're gonna check if a uh, car index has been stored in player prefs okay and if you don't know what player prefs are okay the simple explanation for this is that it stores uh, information okay um, just like a saving and loading system in games okay but this is used for just a small amount of data to be stored okay and as you know that we are just saving the car index so we just we will be just using player prefs okay they are persistent data storage anyways uh, so we will as I told you first of all check if a car index has been stored in player prefs okay so I'm gonna say player prefs dot as key and that key will be selected car index okay then we will retrieve the stored car index uh, from uh, player prefs okay so current index equals to player prefs 
dot get index and we want to get the selected car index now as you know that we are uh, right here disabling all of the cars now we need a method to enable uh, the currently selected car okay and hide the other cars okay so uh, we will name this as show current car and in here first of all we will deactivate all cars so for each game object car in all cars let's set them inactive so I'm gonna say car dot set active false and now let's activate the currently selected car so I'm gonna say all cars current index dot set active true okay simple as that then right here in the start let's call this uh, method show current car okay so now this will do the trick but now we need to uh, create a method for our next button and previous button okay so whenever we press the next button it should move to the next car so right here i'm going to create a public void by the name of next car okay and in here what i'm going to do is i'm going to say current index equals to current index plus one and divide that by all cars dot length okay then i'm gonna call the show current car method right there after this we need to do it for the previous button as well so let's name this as previous car and in here we're gonna say minus one plus all cars dot length okay and then we're gonna call the same method right here as well and that is pretty much it for this Okay, so now if you click on player cards, as you know that we need to drag and drop this player cards in there because this co contain all of the cards. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up this canvas, uh, select the next and previous button, click on plus right there. And in here, drag and drop player car. Then select the next button. And from here, select the next car method. And on the previous, select previous car okay and also guys make sure that you select all of these three cars and remove this rigid body component from them okay and then when you play the game it will select this car but now if we try to change as you can see it now selected car 2 then car 3 then car 1 again, car 2, car 3, okay. But for now, as you know that our uh, accept button is not working because we didn't type any code for that. But if you notice, our previous and next button works perfectly fine. Okay. And in the next video, we're going to uh, work on this accept button, okay. And whatever car we select right here, we're going to show that car on the race tracks. And also when we select a car, we will be redirecting the player back to the main menu uh, scene. And then from there, the player will be able to uh, start the uh, race. Okay, so let's end this video right here.